sure. What do you think? It might be that cast iron heart. <laughs> Uh, but there's a time when you snuck into the room to I, see what I, the... I sneaked into the room. Snuck isn't a word, Conan. And you went to Harvard and you should know that. <laughs> there's a... Oh, no, I'm sorry, wait, there's a... I keep a dictionary down here and I just found it. Just want to look at... Oh, what the hell? Look right here. Snuck. Pass and pass part of sneak. <laughs> When you're a late night talk show host, you need to have a certain kind of feel or presence to draw in the audience and make celebrities want to chat with you. Conan O'Brien was absolutely someone who commanded the camera, the audience, and the guests with his captivating wit and charm no matter what show he was on. There's a reason he survived being tossed aside by one network and then went on to dominate another until he decided to retire. But one thing he was never afraid to do was doing some back and forth with his guests, especially when they deserved it. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four. Chelsea Handler on Conan. Do you go in the water or the ocean a lot? Are you because yes. some people hate the ocean? No, I like the ocean. Do you? I do. I like the ocean very much. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. You must. You, do you float a lot in the ocean? <laughs> This is a case of someone not exactly being kind on Conan's show, and him and his co-host Andy Reichter getting back at them as a result. When Conan O'Brien had legendary prankster and very outspoken person Chelsea Handler on the show, you'd be fine for suspecting that he would handle her with kind gloves, because she could have gone on a rant or comedic rampage if she wanted to. She'd done it before, and while talk show hosts do love to have certain kinds of things happen to get people talking, sometimes you just rather not risk it. So instead, Conan took the high road and talked about recent events in Handler's life, such as a video of her and Jason Biggs doing questionable things in the ocean, and she tried to backhand it in terms of relevance by just talking about the ocean itself, and asking Conan and co-host Andy Reichter if they liked the ocean, which is an interesting segue, but the two played it off and played along. Andy noted that he liked the ocean very much, to which she said, do you float a lot in the ocean? Yeah, that's not a joke you should make, but he got her back for it. <laughs> sure. What do you think? <laughs> Might be that cast iron heart. <laughs> How so? Because Andy didn't miss a beat by replying, Sure, do you think? It might be that cast iron heart. Don't mess with a comedian. That's the thing you can expect when you do. Number three, Conan and Jennifer Garner. Aside from all of the really neat sort of martial arts techniques that you get to learn, you also get to learn this great sort of spy techniques on how to hide and how to enter a room right. and if there's danger. Do you ever get to use that stuff in real life? When you're a talk show host, you sometimes have to deal with guests that most definitely think that they're smarter than you, or know more than you, or are willing to critique you at any point in time. Well, not so much. Like, we have a lot of conversations about how to actually hold the gun. Do we hold the gun like this? Do we hold the gun like this? Do we swoop it up? But that I haven't used so much lately. And to be honest, it's wrong. And it's sad that people think that they can do that, especially when they're celebrities who do it on a dime and sometimes catch you off guard with their claims. Everything was going just fine when Jennifer Garner was on Conan's show one time. The spy techniques I did use actually at work because mm -hmm. they are very sneaky and sketchy about what's coming up on the show. You mean For, like the writers and producers? They, yes, they don't exactly. want you There's to know. There's a writer's room and it's completely closed off, particularly to actors, particularly to me. They were talking about various things when Conan noted that she snuck into the room and she goes, snuck is not a word, Conan. You went to Harvard and you should know that. Yeah. Uh, but were, there's a time when you snuck into the room to I, see I, what the... I sneaked into the room. Snuck isn't a word, Conan. And you went to Harvard and you should know that. <laughs> Before we get into how he did his own backhand on that line, we need to note that like the comedy genius that he is, Conan sold the burn. Like seriously. Ah! 
Look at his face. He's making you feel like he just died by that burn or something terrible had just happened to him. But he was very much alive. And he got his revenge by pulling out a dictionary and noting that snuck was indeed a word. There's a... Oh, I'm sorry, wait, there's a... I keep a dictionary down here and I just found it. Just want to look at... Oh, what the hell? Look right here. Snuck, past and past part of sneak. Even showing the camera the page so that people at home indeed could see that snuck was a word. Gardner had to bite her tongue as Conan laughed maniacally at being right. <laughs> which proves one of the most important rules of comedy. Make sure you can do the joke right, else you become the joke. Snuck was a word, and Garner no doubt wanted to sneak away after that. Conan and Kari were. We're in a big fight right now, aren't we? You have like eight personalities, don't you? I'm not psychotic. Yeah, you hated him, you wanted him to retire, and he excited you backstage. No, all right. See, he's always saying that this is his last appearance, he's gonna retire. It's like your joke, right? Yeah, was... Every single late night talk show host has a guest or two that they will tell themselves they'll never interview again because of what happened on their show or even backstage. It's not them being bitter about something. Usually it's something wrong that happened that they don't want to happen again. <laughs> yes, that was a joke. He's not a Nick at Night fan, I don't think. I got a duh for that. Oh, that was, ow, she's biting. Ow. For Conan, that would be Kari Wurr. And if you watched the 13 minute interview he did with her, you'll see exactly why that is. It was a train wreck, and Conan had to try and salvage things as best he could. And even then, it wasn't enough. If you're familiar with the actress in question, that's fine. She's only had some modicum of success over the years. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I should insult you more often. Uh, this you... is really close proximity, actually. That's not my real it looks leg. Bigger, actually. <laughs> that's a prosthetic leg. Mainly in the 1990s via shows like Remote Control on MTV and the sci fi series Sliders that went a few years. She did some other movies of various natures and even attempted to get into music, but it never really went anywhere. It was during her time on Sliders that she went on to Conan to talk about the series and other things. I'm like Dorf on golf. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm just a head coming out of something right so, here. So, of course, your libido made you 6'4". You just that your prosthetic legs are really nice. Yes, yes. And from the get-go, you could tell that something was off with her, both in her outfit and her expression. You could see that something was off. <laughs> Next to me. <laughs> I feel like Carrie Gar on acid right now completely. <laughs> Conan tried to conduct the interview as basic and plainly as possible, but Kari would either dive into random tangents, try and get Conan to do various things, including dance with her, and other stuff. Is this, is, are you doing, is this what you're promoting right now, the, the, the CD? Yeah, like an encyclopedia salesman. I mean, it's been hard. It's been cool, though. The camera panned to Conan numerous times, and his facial expressions proved just how awkward things were getting. Conan even asked her, so you're on acid, right? And she said, yeah, basically. Conan can only do so much when one of his guests is literally not in her right mind. Number one, Conan and Nicole Scherzinger. I get the impression women go crazy for Simon Cowell. Am it's, I? It's I'm, kind of crazy. When I, the reason I, the way that I met Simon was they asked me to be a guest judge. When Conan was interviewing then X Factor judge Nicole Scherzinger, things quickly got weird, and not for the reason that you're thinking. Despite the fact that she introduces herself as a groupie of O'Brien forever, Scherzinger later interrupts her story about Simon Cowell to scold O'Brien for sneaking a peek at her cleavage, which is on display thanks to a skin-tight low-cut dress. Focus, Conan, she says, gesturing with her hands from her chest up to her face. Focus, mm -hmm. Conan, to be, um... <laughs> How did Conan react to this? Why, by doing pure comedy, of course. He went and exaggeratedly gawked at her chest because you don't give a comedian that kind of material and expect him not to use it. Here speaking for a second. Of, speaking of, you I, didn't think I was gonna look down there? I, I think. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and 
he did, and everyone laughed as a result. While this may not seem like a fight of anything meaningful, Conan was put on the spot and had his integrity questioned, and he turned it around without breaking a sweat. He made it clear that he wasn't looking at her chest before, but was looking at it now. And there you have it everyone, a look at the times when Conan and his guests had some back and forth and which ones came out on top. Do you remember watching these happen on live TV? Do you know of other times that Conan had to barb with some of his guests? What memories of Conan do you look back on fondly? Let us know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.